Meet Ryan. Ryan is a child with autism. One of the challenges that children with autism struggle with is their ability to use all their sensory systems at the same time, like a neurotypical child or adult. They can't seamlessly tie their senses together, which makes them very sensitive to sensory stimuli like sound and vision. This makes it very difficult for them to handle being in a busy environment, like a grocery store, movie theater, and in the classroom as well. One treatment method that can be very effective for children with autism is vision therapy. Today's October 3, 2011. This is Ryan's initial examination. We're going to take a look at his ability to follow this cube. What do you see there? What else? Vision therapy helps children who struggle with autism to make their vision their dominant sensory system. It teaches them to process and handle sensory stimuli without triggering hyperactivity. Part of the treatment is improving the ability to attend to tasks with focus and sustained attention, involving thinking and problem solving, as well as being able to engage another person at the same time. So this is one of the challenges for Ryan is to be able to follow that bead. And keep your eyes on that, Ryan. Now I'm going to ask you questions. I want to see if you can follow that bead while I talk to you, okay? So let's try this. What's your favorite color? Blue. Do you have any pets? Yeah, a dog named Allie. Uh -huh. Vision therapy is helping Ryan to acquire visual skills and integrate them into his other sensory systems, like auditory processing, balance, movement, and thinking, and doing all of these tasks at the same time. These are skills that the average person takes for granted every day, but create extreme challenges for children with autism like Ryan. There is no known singular cure for autism, but there is a way to treat the developmental delays that are associated with autism. Through vision therapy, we are training the dominant sensory system to be leading rather than interfering with performance in everyday tasks, as well as bringing the child's visual skills to an age-appropriate level. Follow that. You ready? Here we go. Let's see his visual tracking. Now that was kind of a tough thing. Very good, Ryan. That's really good. That's harder to do, isn't it, when we bring up close? But look at that. That convergence right up there. Looking at the bead. Look at the bead. Dude, that was very good. Well, his reading has gotten much better. He's reading at grade level, and when he started, he was well below grade level. And he makes eye contact when he speaks to people. Do, uh, his balance is better, coordination is better. He's all that stuff. Yeah, you're jumping up and down on the trampoline, and you throw and catch a ball with Miss Allison. And, and, um, and, um, using the glasses to read the books. Books with you now, right? Autism presents challenges for children and parents every day. But there is always hope for a brighter future.